First, I'd like to thank the police officers from Cambridge, from my hometown of Natick, and from Massachusetts, from Massachusetts and across the country for your overwhelming support to me and my family during this difficult time. During this ordeal, one of the challenges was to make clear to people across America what a difficult and challenging job police officers face every day. We had a cordial and productive discussion today with the President, Vice President, and Professor Gates. We have all agreed that it is important to look forward rather than backward. Issues important to all of us will form the basis of discussions between Professor Gates and me in the days and weeks to come. P Professor Gates and I bring different perspectives to these issues and have agreed that both perspectives should be addressed in an effort to provide a constructive outcome to the events of the past month. Thank you. Also here with us we have Dennis O'Connor who is the president of the Cambridge Police Superior Officers Association and Alan McDonald who is a um, legal counsel as well. Um, so sorry, did anyone apologize? No. What was accomplished today sitting around that table with the president and vice president? I think uh, what was accomplished was it, this was a positive step in moving forward as opposed to reliving the events of the past couple of weeks in an effort to move not just the city of Cambridge or two individuals past this event, but the whole country uh, to move beyond this and use this as a uh, basis of maybe some meaningful discussions in the future. So, Sergeant, when you're talking about these discussions, is there some sort of plan for you and Professor Gates to be meeting again or meeting on a regular basis or something? Yes. We have already planned a meeting. Uh, the professor is heading back to the vineyard right now to spend time with his family. Uh, he and I are going to have a phone conversation in the coming days to uh, lay the groundwork for that meeting that's already been discussed. And you're going to meet in, uh, you know, where you're going to meet or whether it's going to be a I do. Can you tell us? No. <laughs> <laughs> Can we try to reduce the, your, you the know, venue is much too small to support all of us. <laughs> I think meeting at a bar for a beer on a second occasion is going to send out the wrong message. So maybe a Kool-Aid or iced tea or something like that. But we do have a venue in mind, but again, that's also up for discussion. And what kind of things would you like to discuss with the I would like not only to discuss, but I'd also like to listen to Professor Gates' perspective. And certainly he has the credentials to enlighten me a little bit. Uh, and I think that uh, perhaps the professor, as he expressed to me, has a willingness to listen to what my perspective is as a police officer, and again, as I said in the statement, that the difficult jobs that police officers today, Crowley, hold on just a second. I just want to finish that. Uh, the difficult jobs that police officers do every day. So the professor was quite receptive to that. I'm sorry. Is anything solved or anything solved, sorry. As far as well, we we yeah, agreed to move forward. No, I think what you had today was two gentlemen agree to disagree on a particular issue. I, I don't think that. Uh, we spent too much time uh, dwelling on the past. We spent a lot of time discussing the future. Can you describe how, how the, the body language was and how the tone was set? Because the, the people we saw the first couple of minutes said it looked like any kind of friends sitting around having a beer. Well, that wasn't the first we encountered. Uh, the professor and I encountered each other while we were both in individual tours of the White House. Uh, and the professor approached me. Uh, and introduced his family. I introduced my family, and then we continued on with the tour, but as a, a group, two families moving together, and that was the start. So uh, it was very cordial. Sorry, can you share any words that the president shared with you? Uh, it was a private discussion. It was a, a frank discussion. Um, I'd rather not go into the specifics of what was discussed. Did the president make any contribution to the discussion? He provided the beer. <laughs> yeah, pretty much it. <laughs> Uh, he, he contributed in a small part, but he, he really wanted to bring two people together uh, to try to solve not only a local issue issue in Cambridge, but also what has become a, a national issue. Hold, hold on just one second. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, the President has talked about this being a teachable moment. Did you learn anything? What did you learn from this? What have I learned from this? I, I, I learned that the media can find you no matter where you live. Um, <laughs> they did a good job of doing that. Uh, I think that that's the responsibility of Professor Gates and I in the coming weeks when we have these discussions to maybe learn from each other. Certainly, he brings a lot to the table, and I hope that I do as well. Sir. Sure. Yeah. And the President is expressing any additional regret over saying that the police had acted stupidly in this case. Did you express any concerns? And 
Can you also say what the Vice President has said? Uh, the Vice President uh, was just a great man. It was, it was nice. He was very nice with the children as well. Um, we did share a few stories that were un unrelated to the topic at hand. Um, I'm sorry, what was the first question? Did, did the President express any additional regret over saying? Parts of that conversation are private, and we understood that going into it, so I, I think it would be best to honor that, that, that agreement. Can you just say on a personal level what it was like to have this experience? I'm not really sure this is really happening. <laughs> I'm still not uh, having caught up with this. I'm going to need a few days off maybe just to reflect on the events of the past couple of weeks. Great. We want to thank everyone. Oh, wait, I have one more question. Please. Okay, yes. well, <laughs> you brought a letter from Sergeant Lashley to give to the President of the United States. Did you not? No. Okay. I did not. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 Since this event for standing up for you. Sergeant Lashley has views on this event just like we all do. Um, those are Sergeant Lashley's views and uh, I knew in the days before Sergeant Lashley came out in support of my position that he was going to be putting, putting himself in a position of ridicule. Um, Sergeant Lashley's statement, whatever it is, I haven't heard it, would speak for itself. I, it wasn't a message I, I relayed. Can you talk at all about the support that we've gotten from police and Cambridge? Uh, the men and women of the two associations have been tremendous. Uh, they have helped provide uh, protection for my family. Uh, I've gotten phone calls, emails, letters, um, things in the mail from the men and women of the police department. And I think this has brought us closer together as a law enforcement family. And I wouldn't want to leave out the incredible work that the Natick Police Department has done in ensuring the safety of my family. Uh, as you know, that they have been barraged with uh, the media out in a small area of the town. Uh, and those men and women really deserve a lot of thanks because they're protecting what is most important to me, my family. What's your impression of the president? How has your perspective changed on this? He's a very interesting man. A very interesting man in what way? Uh, he's just a regular person. Uh, sitting around a table having a discussion about an issue and he just was very cordial. Um, I respect him a great deal. Was there tension or could you guys sort of feel? You know, there was no tension. No tension. No tension. Could you joke around and have an ordinary conversation or did it we was did, business or was this business? It was both. It was business but discussing it like two gentlemen instead of fighting it out uh, either in the physical sense or in the mental sense uh, in the court of public opinion. So it was very productive. Did Can Professor Gates ask you to be part of any documentary he's thinking of? working on? No.